I need somebody to tell me how to pronounce this guy's name, because I don't know if it's Arrow, Eero, or Arrow, I don't know, but I'm walking in here through today, and got some nice paintings going on. It's that Wonder Woman, I don't know if that's Captain America. Oh, we got the Nesquik bunny and all these rats in this pain. It's nice. All right, let's go in here and check out all the rest of this stuff. Look at that dude shaving. This is cool right here. Everything reminds me. It's very super pop already. A lot of references to like James Rosenquist and Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol, all of those guys. But just looking at it, I can tell that his process is just super mechanical. Everything looks like it started out with some kind of collage or something and he blew it up. I guess you can kind of tell that right here. All of these are collages that he framed. These are cool. Some of these look like references from TV shows and things and movies and stuff that I watched as a kid. They look like heavy metal. Oh, look at this design right here. Where's Virgil? That's going right on an off-white shirt, I can tell right now. Some of these references are to like old artworks too. Look at Marilyn Monroe. Here we go with the Star Wars references and Alfred E. Newman. I don't know, is this supposed to be, who's that, R2-D2? I don't know, Star Wars. Star Wars is the most boringest shit I've ever watched in my life. People love it, but every time I watch it, it's like liquid Nightwell fall asleep on every single movie. Now, here go some references that I understand. You got Sonic and Shadow right there, Knuckles. And it looked like the guy from Chrono Trigger. Some of the best games you could ever play. Only real Gs know. Trying to figure out how this army relates to Sonic and Shadow. Somebody tell me where the original reference comes from so I can check that out. Of course, this wouldn't be a pop art show without some kind of reference to Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney. I really need to know what Mickey Mouse represents in like art culture because I have no idea why everybody is so fascinated with Mickey Mouse. He is in everything. This looks like one of those grocery store newspapers that they randomly send you in the mail with all that lunch meat and shit in them. But of course, it's just like some body parts or something like that. Hey, some people eat human meat, though. I mean, hey, if you want to eat some human ass, go ahead. I mean, just don't kill nobody to eat no human ass. I mean, hey. This is an interesting take on gentrification. You got the Simpsons kicking out the Animaniacs out of their houses. I don't know what this represents, but it looked like an old tire or a burnt piece of bacon or something like that. Old gum. Yeah, I don't know what this means right here, but it's clearly political. I have no idea who any of these people are in this piece, but you do see the Nazi hand putting some change in the dude's hat right there, and then you see Snow White in one of those seven doors over there. Somebody tell me what you think this means in the comments, because I have no idea. All right, let's walk in here carefully with the big pains and not mess with the security guard over there because he looked like he could fight. Now, are some of these, I know some of these are political, but are some of them just, uh, I don't know, random collages put together to make paintings? I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out how some of these relate. These two, I have no idea. Disney with Picasso. Somebody explain it to me. Moving on. Okay, I see a lot of Picasso, I see Scott Pilgrim, I see some comic book references, I don't know. Alright, let me ask this 
do it if I can record because I don't want no smoke. I don't want none of the smoke. I'm telling you, dude, right here, they be the ones that secret, dog, that look like they come, but they, they can fight, dog. I just don't want no smoke. But he said it was cool, so let's keep it pushing. I'm curious as to why it's all in like black and white and grays. Made me think of like a some kind of film flashback, you know, when you watch a movie and they go back to the past or something. Like you've seen it before. Looking at all these Picasso inspired pieces too is a real like weird reference to consumerism. You got Picasso, what will be considered high art mixed with pop art, which is what they considered low art when it first came out. So it has an idea of like, I don't know, consumerism and capitalism all wrapped in one nice art burrito. This lady thinks she's slick. She just want to be all in my video like Puffy. All in the videos. All on the songs. Come to death row. It's a lot going on in this one. Colors everywhere. Mad cartoons that I used to watch. Got the Smurfs. I think that's Top Hat Cat. Doug and Woody Woodpecker, or maybe that's just Woody Woodpecker on both sides. I don't know. All right, moving on. I'm curious as to if any of the original artists who made these panels for these comic books or cartoons ever like sent him some kind of cease and desist or something, you know. Because I know that was the case with Roy Lichtenstein. He would go to comic book shops and cut out random panels from, you know, different comics that he read. Now, would y'all say that he's copying or would y'all say that he's stealing? I know for me, at least in terms of when I make my own paintings, like, I try to deviate from the original source if I use one as much as possible. I don't want anybody to know where I got it from. And that's where all the Photoshop skills and the collage skills come in handy. Doing this painting like you want to taste my sausage? Look at that dude right there like, yeah, of course. Give me some of that meal. This one, you got the Joker with a camera looking at you, saying smile. And underneath him, you got these other characters down here look like they're posing for a family photo or something. Let's zoom in here so you can get a closer look at these paints. These are painted like to a T though, perfectly. Can't front on that. All right, let's go back out here with all of the Sididi people. Look at this one. This is huge. It's a triptych. You got the X Men. You got I don't know what comic book that is with the dude with the falcon or eagle or whatever that is on the shirt, but it looks like the the farmer painting. I forget the name of it, but it's a classic. You see it in everything. That's a Ghost Rider, and then you got somebody ripping off something like a, a necklace or something she ripping off. Over here, you got the homie Rocket Raccoon coming through bussing because he with the shits. What this paint says to me is that. This dude right here looked like he just pulled his meat out on all the super friends and the Avengers and they just staring like, like 
like, man, why would you do that? Like a Batman right there just trying to turn a blind eye to it like he don't see it, but it's there. Even Superman impressed. This one right here is the magnum opus of the show to me. The colors on this are crazy. This reminds me of one of my favorite games, Marvel vs. Capcom, like the character select screen or something. Bro, can we just all admit that Falcon is trash, bro? He's like the worst like Avenger out of all of them. Like nobody cares about him. I don't even think black people care about Falcon. We don't even like him. When Captain America gave him that shield in the movie. He was like, why? I mean, I know he becomes Captain America by the comics, but it's like, I don't even like you like that. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell, man. Peace.